doesn't break anymore <laughs> uh, it's gonna be exactly the same amount of baits uh, for the exact amount of empty squares so it's very interesting that if I get it right I'll run out of bait at the same time that I explore the whole world And always remember to read his advice. He says some pretty good stuff. I mean, thanks to that fish, <clears throat> I believe that I've explored everything. Because this game pretty much explains where to get everything. You just gotta, like, you know, read and stuff like that. And I'm not sure if there's a choo choo around here. If there is, then. I have no idea. I just don't remember ever getting a choo-choo in this island, so... It's kind of puzzling. Also, we're going to be testing the day and night transitions to see if it still lags a little bit when it changes. And storms as well. I highly doubt anything will change, but... If it gets better, then <clears throat> I guess I won't have the need to be turning it to day and night. Why is this thing not marking it? <clears throat> so weird. I'm pretty sure I can stick there. Oh, what the hell? It didn't even show me the sign of sticking or anything. Oh well. So here we have a new treasure on top of the island. T -t 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 -a, a treasure shard. And we're gonna keep getting those. <laughs> Definitely. Let's see on where it is. Oh, oh, I got past it. Uh... <coughs> okay. I know where those places are. It's one of those islands that technically you don't explore. You just go there and pick up the treasure shard. You really don't do anything else. <coughs> and there are more than one, I believe, on the on this side of the world. So when you think about it, it's one of those spots that you really don't take that much time on exploring. Here there are a couple of rubies. Hey, wait a minute, it's night. I didn't see it lag. Huh. I guess we are freed from the curse of the night. <laughs> Sweet. Alright, so I guess I won't be playing the night and day song anymore. Sweet. Oh, this is great. I'm loving it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk to this stupid door. Don't touch me with the filthy hands of your mischievous little scab! <laughs> uh -huh. This cabana belongs to the master and the master alone. 
You creamy trespassing little scum drug. Away with you! Away, I say! Uh, okay, so let me show you my bead. You stupid little door. Ew, Uncle must foul. Don't lay those hang. Uh, what the? Th th that's. What? That's the. Are you. Are you the new master? Are you Master Lin Kuzi? <gasps> oh, I am so pleased to hear that name. Oh, Master Lin Kuzi. Please be gentle on this door. Gentle? I'm gonna freaking cut you with my sword and get a new door. <laughs> and he's everywhere in here. He's in the shower. I mean, ugh. It's disgusting. Anyways, <clears throat> we're gonna be activating this, but that's not all that you can do in this room. You can actually swing on top of this and get these jars down. Because honestly, if you break them as they are up here, you're gonna lose a couple of rupees. Not that it really matters, because you can get so many, so many rupees in this uh, place. Let me try and get on top of that one over there. You actually can. It's just that this one is a bit harder. Let's see. Oh, crap. Yeah, it looks a bit tough. But you can, because I've done it before. Let's see if I can... Anyways, let me just, yeah, let me just break them with this. I'm gonna lose a couple of rubies, but whatever. There we go. And another thing we can do in this room is to play the puzzle game. But, since I'm gonna take a while in doing this, let me play it off screen. Ah, the amusements of nobility. I do indeed, and I don't want an explanation. And I'll be right back. This is a basic game, so I don't need to explain it yet. Uh, yeah. And we are back, and I'm finished. I guess the secret is to solve it from top to bottom. That's how I've always done it since I was a kid. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, the little cloud on the left has lit lighten up that means that it's that's just one puzzle out of a bunch of puzzles I've never finished all of them I think I got like 10 and then I got bored of it because it was kind of pointless because in the end that you just get rubies you don't get an ultimate prize like a heart or anything if you solve them all so you're not gonna lose any type of item and this is the the one that they give you so that you can know where to put the pieces and stuff so it's pretty cool that they at least give you a hint. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm good at those kind of puzzles, but I, I'm, I suck a lot in the Rubik's Cube. At least when I saw the movie, The Pursuit of Happiness, I saw that the trick was that on each side, the center square had the color that corresponds to the side. And I actually never knew that. So... You know, knowing that maybe if I get a Rubik's Cube, I can solve it. But you know, that doesn't mean I'm super smart or anything. It's just that I just know how to solve puzzles like that. And I've always done it since I was a kid. So, uh, it's kind of easy. Ta -da! There's actually one in the Resident Evil 4 that is like 10 times easier than this one. <laughs> It's even shorter, so it's really no big deal. I solved that one so fast the first time. Then I kind of took a while the next time, but whatever. Anyways, you'll be seeing that when I get to the Resident Evil walkthroughs. So I'm planning on doing all of the games. Of course, I need to buy five. I wish I could get it right now. I, I already finished five, it's just that I borrowed it from a friend. It was pretty cool, but I'll tell you my reviews later on. I guess for Zelda I don't have reviews, because the Zelda games are 
pretty much perfect. <laughs> so, you know, I've told you what I want with Zelda, but at the same time, I accept the games as they are, and I haven't had the need of making a review or anything. But, you know, when I get to those games that kind of need a review, that's where I'll give you guys my thoughts of the game, of what I want. So here are uh, Wonder Rupees, and I'll see you guys on the next part some out of time. So, bye-bye guys. Thank you for watching.